Hello, my dear friends and followers. Today, a statement about illegal, illegal migration to Europe. You know, the Gambian Connection, my organization itself, was once founded to support our Gambian brothers here in Europe and to reconnect them to our country and our nation and our, their families and make things easier for them. I mentioned that before in my videos. Today I talk about the fact why is illegal immigration so why it is even existing. And I think lack of enlightenment is the problem. The work between the schools, because the school is the access to the youth. Schools and embassies don't work together in a proper way. I'm talking mostly because I can give the example about the Gambia and the German embassy, for example. I can and I have to criticize the so-called link contact office of the German embassy in Serkuna. That office is, in my opinion, doing nothing to prevent illegal migration. Even it would be so easy. We, me as an organization, we are going out, we are going to the schools and try to talk with the students about opportunities in Europe, about dangers, the danger of the back way, danger of illegal migration. What are the opportunities in Europe? We bring enlightenment. This is the job of an embassy. That's why an embassy is there to represent another nation, to show people a way or not to migrate to further education, none of those projects are running. The IOM, representative in the Gambia wasting money. Why those people are not going out? It, it is important to support the youth of the Gambia. But you cannot support them if you are just there and if they want help or just ask for information, you close the doors. That cannot work. Me is struggling and working with my own hard earned money to enlighten the youth of our nation about dangerous things, the danger of the back way or, or opportunities in Europe. Why I have to do that? I mean, why organizations that should do it are not doing it? Money is there, but it will be wasted. Money is wasted on so called administrative jobs. So what? Are they buying tables and chairs every day? Computers? For what? Use the money, go out, print flyers. That is what they need. Use the money to maybe buy a flip chart and go with it to a school and use the money to talk to the youth about their opportunities and chances. Those organizations in the Gambia are wasting money on nothing and that is wrong. You cannot blame our government always for that. Those organizations has to go out and talk to the youth. Don't always act like you are superior because you are not. You are nothing. You just live on other people's money and that is the problem. What I think is the youth deserves attention. And if I see it like today in the media, it was like, oh, youth activists and whatever they are talking. Ah, yeah, they are even talking right now. I see it on Facebook about youth for future, blah, blah, blah. Stop talking. Go out and help the youth where they need it. I never saw anyone going to the schools and making those. There is a lot of powerful youth activists in the Gambia. For me, a youth activist, by the way, is not 60 years old because that old man will not understand nothing about the Gambian youth. Go where you find them, work together with artists. And by the way, not those paid artists that paid themselves, get that got paid from America or somewhere to get fame, because those people will never tell the truth. Talk with the people from the base. Talk with the people from the bottom, because they are the ones keeping the Gambia running. That youth is keeping their country running. They deserve chances and they deserve enlightenment. And this enlightenment can be brought to them from the German or regularly European embassies or even the US embassy, instead of always sitting in your embassy, why you are not going out, Mr. Ping Ding? Huh? 
talking about the US ambassador in the Gambia. Go out, go to the schools, talk about opportunities. Why you are not doing that? Why you are always hiding in your palace? And that is something that is wrong. Real cooperation between Europe, America and the Gambia is not in sending money without advice. It is in choosing the right people and doing campaigns, real campaigns every day in every school, talking to the people, creating a real link between those countries and the youth of the Gambia. That is the only way to do it sensible and good for everyone and for the future of our nation. Because if we want to follow the Western world and we love yet to do it, then the Western world should give us tools to do our job properly. That was just an opinion from my side about illegal migration and the future of the Gambian connection and the future, hopefully soon established cooperation between the Gambian connection and big helping organizations and governments around the Gambia and Europe. Thank you very much. Opinions are always highly welcome. Be free to contact me and stay blessed. Thank you.